Robbie Wong here. We're going to play some Brawl and Arena with Nethroy, Apex of Death. This cat, it is a cat, it can bring back any number of target creature cards with total power, 10 or less from your graveyard to the battlefield. So we've gone a couple directions here. We have the typical ramp that we've been using in the past to make sure that we get lands in play because seven converted mana cost for the mutate is it ain't cheap so we have to be able to pay with that somehow uh leyline of the prowler joins us here as a fancy thing to mutate onto seeing as it has death touch and lifelink those keywords can be kind of cool on a larger body but the rest of this is the sort of typical ramp package that you'll you'll see once upon a time isn't ramp but you know what i'm talking about we also have this early game stuff that we can do and Archfiend's Vessel is one of the two humans that you can bounce with Kugla because humans don't work well with Mutate at all. So this is in here because it's a great blocker in the beginning and then with Nethroy it's a cheap way to get back a 5-5 Flying Demon. And then Space Godzilla is sort of one of those, well, I can cycle it and then I can guarantee to have something big come back because occasionally in some initial testing with this deck there was some issue sometimes with having a stock graveyard to fully use the mute abuse the mutate mechanic speaking of which since there is graveyard recursion in this deck we have a pile of mill effects Meyer triton binding of the titans glow spore shaman gorging vulture and timorat these cards are interesting because they, they they're not hugely impactful in the beginning of the game but if you invest in them, there is a chance that Nethroy has a, a bigger punch because you've you've got a fully stocked fridge. And since this is a best of one format, there is not a whole lot of graveyard hate that comes packed into some people's decks. We have a mutate pile here, and these are some of the best mutate abilities here. Glowstone Recluse is not fantastic, but it is a cheap way to trigger. Uh, mutate or cheaper way to uh, trigger mutate and we have a couple of removal spells that wasn't present in some of the other mutate decks that we were playing we have this green package card draw and one interesting thing is there's the difference between enter the battlefield and cast so beast whisper triggers whether it's mutate or cast but these other things the great henge guardian project garrick's uprising they don't really trigger so you you have to there's some non-bow there's some tension between these two piles because if you want the card draw then you have to cast it normally essentially though if you're mutating onto an auspicious sterix then it's it's worth not getting this because you're going to get so much from the the different hits and then we have the typical fight package kugla and thorn mammoth and cavalier of thorns can also fit into this category even though it's a five drop and expensive and uh plague crafter one of the other aforementioned humans uh i think it's cool in terms of getting it down early to clear something out and then you can just bring it back with nethroy i'm not a hundred percent sure of everything that's going on but it's been fun so far with initial testing so let's go ahead and jump into some gameplay bro Bro, Super Mario Brawlers. All right, Crocs, uh, black, red. Maybe got a touch of the aggro in you. So we don't have ramp, but we do kind of have a curve but we're missing a third land we're gonna take the free mulligan <laughs> i've talked myself out of it all right plenty of early interaction life games uh valuable here against this potential black red aggro uh, keep seven something we didn't quite mention in, in the deck tech was there is white because you sometimes need to just cast this as a 5-5 death touch lifelink but there aren't any other white cards in here. The mutate in the white wasn't as attractive as some of the black green stuff that was going on. And then the other part of it was looking for cyclers 
as a way to stock the graveyard with something else. Because when whenever I saw Godzilla, I was thinking, oh, you know, you could cycle other cards in there. And there's there's no good black green cyclers. There are okay white cyclers. So we've ended up going more of a black green splash white. The other mutate card has white in the casting cost, but then it's hybrid mana for the mutate cost. So really, those two cards are the only things that need white mana to be cast. Claims my gutter bones. I think you're gonna get it. <laughs> no blocks. I'm gonna I'm gonna play crafter, and I'm gonna throw. Mm. Am I? I mean, I know I am, but because this is this is could be a four or five next turn that turns into a five six the following turn. So we're definitely doing this. But am I sacking the archfiends or the gutter bones? I think I'm sacking the archfiend. Let's just let's assume that Nethroy is happening, and gutter bones connects. Eric Cash. So what does next turn looks like? I think it's just ramp. Ramp and smack. Right. No. Brutal. Okay. This just has death touch and life link. So we'll play this. We will ramp because we're going to get uh, more action out of... What? That is... Ah, that's fine. <laughs> I looked at the auto-tapper. It had command tower up, but then somewhere between there, this, and the other, it decided to not. Uh, I'll pay better attention next time. I'm sorry. I'll do better next time. Can we activate this? Yeah. So we can have up to six. If we get the, if we get the fight ape, we actually can cast it. Ooh, that's a bad one to lose. <laughs> uh, that was what's going to keep us in there. All right, I could Nethroy, but I think I'm going to Binding. I was expecting a little bit more action from opponent here in terms of early game. 5-5 five, five Death Touch Life Link or Binding. Is that in the graveyard? Nope, just game over. Okay. All right. Well, if you're on YouTube, make sure to like, share, and subscribe, and we'll catch you guys on the next one. And those of you on Twitch, just uh, hang out.